from my heart and from my hand Why don't people understand my intention? And I'm about to show you a couple tricks. Um, first one is this is a fluorescent bulb. We're gonna need to put it right. You you, you don't even have to put it that close. You just put it a little close. It'll fairly glow. But if you put it right here, it lights up pretty brightly. It. But the reason why it does that is because there's an electric field around it. And the reason why this light bulb wouldn't work, as you can see, is because this one doesn't have a gas in it. This one has a little bit of gas in it, so it connects. And then this one, I'll do a cooler trick later, is a cold cathode light. A little nerdy, but you can call it fluorescent too. It, um, it's, the reason why it brights a little lighter than this one is because it has a better gas in it and this one again the uh, no this one I'm gonna need to turn it off for a second be sure not to touch anything if you ever do this trick and then get tin foil piece of paper a little bit of lead and then let's see if this will work there Yeah, I like that one. That's one of my favorites. But enough about me. And um we need to get some paper. Um Hi. This one you're gonna need a chair. The person who's gonna be touching the plasma needs to be on a chair. And then you put your palm on here, and there will be another person waiting there for you then it'll light up. Cool, isn't it? This is my, one of my favorite tricks. Um, the thing I like about my plasma ball is watch. Whenever it hears loud noises, it usually lights up. But it's a special setting. And that's all I have to go, and I'm dedicating this to Miss Grooge class. Thank you. Imagination with